hello and welcome to our channel swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn about auto layout in ios and this is a very vignettes tutorial auto layout means that is automatic layout so so auto layout i already created the project and you if you haven't you can create your project in this moment and now so here this is our screen so this is our screen so layout means that how we lay are how we laid down our controls there suppose a text field here then a text field here and a UI button here now I want this to be this and this here space and similarly this and this let's give a background color so that it looks clearly so here now these are my text fields so, so I dragged I laid down that I required these kind of things like two text field and buttons and should look like this the space from here should be 20 okay so now if I goes to smaller devices this part goes outside of the screen or get cut it so now so I have two ways now either I should set the frame programmatically by calculating these positions by my own calculation my own mathematical functions or I just put all the burden on auto layout so we will do auto layout for this because this is a very cool feature auto layout while developing iOS apps so auto layout in auto layout as you know uh, uh, before starting auto layout uh, I think you are familiar with this that every control has four things that is x position, y position, width and height okay so this is the x position and this as y so x moves from this to this and y moves from this side to this side okay so now in order layout we have four constraints to calculate x y positions that is and width and height for the same so here we have for a constant that's in this one this is the leading constant it calculates x and y position is calculated by this top or this bottom suppose if I gave let me delete this and delete this and this is my text field and suppose I want 20 pixel gap from here 20 pixel gap and 20 from the bow top side so I gave it this and here I can select that the margin from where the margin should be considered so safe areas because we need to develop apps for iPhone 10 and now when I apply this constraint okay here you can see the error this says that the by position is missing so how I can calculate the by position because I gave it text that this should start from 20 pixel from the left so if I delete this constant and either I want it from the right hand side then I will delete this and I will do one thing goes here and then from the safe area I will specify 20 here so this also gives me x position that this now starts from the right hand side but still we have an error that the by position is required the width is automatically calculated by the auto layout that is 25 it sets because the, we haven't set any constant so now in order to calculate I have two ways either I can start it from the top or from the bottom so if you want to start it from the top then we will give it the top constant that is now from safe areas and we will give it 20 pixel so now here you can see now the arrow is gone and x and y positions are calculated so now if I move this so here you can see 
this automatically updates so no need I don't have to bother about the X and Y position of my text field so here it is now the, the thing that how you will specify the width so in order to let the auto layout system calculate the width we have to give it a trailing constraint this one is the trailing constraint because it's from the right hand side so we have to give it a leading so this tells that this text field will start from this side and it will go until what so, because at this moment we haven't gave the constraint for this trailing that we are not telling the system so it only takes 25 pixel width by default so let's say we want to cover this whole screen but should let 20 pixel gaps from here so here we goes here and we will select this and goes here either you can give the width from here but this is not good if you want this kind of things this is only good but if you want to give a fixed width so here we specify the leading constraint to be 20 pixel so here you can see the text field automatically is draws now it says that this should the gap from the right hand side and gap from the left hand side should be 20 pixel so if I change my layout for smaller screens you can say you can see that this is automatically adjusted So now this calculates our width. Now if you want to specify more height then you can give height 50 from here and it make it a bigger. Now if I want it from the bottom then what we'll do now here as soon as I deleted the top constant it says by position. Now let's say I want it from the 100 pixel from the bottom of my screen. Now I gave it and it moves to the bottom and 100 pixels from the bottom. So here you can see it automatically calculates. So here we learn that how we draw or how we create constraints or add constraints to our controls. And so this is the video that shows how you can do. We can give it one more try. Now this is a 20 pixel. We made it. I made it on the top. Now again, if I want it, a same kind of text field again here so I drag and drop one more and I want it from the 20 pixels so now first I will give it Tom that my by position should be 20 pixel from this so when I click here and now here you can see this tick mark says that the pixels will be calibrated from the our text field round style text field current distance 37 pixels so now I will place it 20 and now you can see it's move up so let's change the color so that it will look more clear so here and now I can either give it a constraint that it 20 20 from here 20 from here and height will be 50 because I want to same height and it sets here but the main disadvantage of setting this thing is that suppose if I want in future to change the leading and trailing to 50 so I have to change this for all my text fields suppose if I change here to 50 because this looks very big so here I change now if I have, I have four text field here and I gave it like this then I have to resize this and again UI text fields that are aligned in the bottom so for this what we can do so here I only gave top constant so for this con tap control key of your keyboard and then right click of your mouse or left click and then drag it here to text field and here you can see the listing of the constants so or using command you can say leading trailing and equal height so it says that the leading and trailing and height will be equal to the this text field 
and we apply the constants and as you can say it's automatically done so this is a very small video tutorial where you learn leading trailing top and bottom constants and how to give bottom top leading and trailing constants to UI text field to lay down your controls in diff and so that it the position and size of those controls will be automatically calculated by the iOS if you have any kind of question then please feel free and comment your question in the comment section below and if you like our video then please like and share give a thumbs up to this video and share this video and please subscribe to our channel so that you can get keep updated for our next future video release thanks for watching bye for now